Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, thank you all for joining us tonight. Uh, we're excited to uh, finally have this facility open. This is uh, the, the newest member of Sire Road family. We have uh, multiple other robot kits in our other facility, but this one is the big one. This is my first my first time working with robots, so it's been challenging, but super fun and engaging. Learning how to interact with these technologies is pretty re rewarding, and um, I also think that it's going to help us build a better future. The Amundsen Foundation has a long history of supporting not only the arts, but education. And this butts up against both of those. It was all about building for the future. We really believe in the importance of art and culture in the built environment. And we know that SciArc very genuinely is reaching out to the community and making this kind of education available to a broad range of students. And it's going to transform our lives. It's uh, uplifting to have this moment with all of you. The Robot Annex is part of a string of investments that has been made here that bring you really to the cutting edge of what matters in architecture and art. The facility here has been made possible by some very generous grants from the Amundsen and the Parsons Foundation. And we're also very excited to kickstart our first research project looking at developing sustainable cross-laminated timber panels for residential construction with additional sponsorship from the U.S. Forestry Service. Cross-laminated timber, the idea is that we can optimize the amount of material that's being used so that it doesn't go to waste and it's used like very powerfully so we can reduce the material that we need to. It helps with the sustainability of a project. Robots present uh, an opportunity to start working with and coming up with novel materials. Using robots to really cut down on waste and also being able to use waste from other processes and make something out of waste or make something with very, very little waste. Right now, the robot is perfect to kind of prototype these new, more complex materials. Yeah, so the, the project with the U.S. Forestry Service has kind of evolved over several submission rounds. The project is specifically looking at how we can use AI and robotic fabrication to create optimized cross-laminated timber panels, which is a, a kind of architectural or, or building structural member um, that has a lot of upside in terms of uh, environmental efficiency or environmental benefits. And these would be like timbers that would normally be not harvested by logging and foresting companies because they don't have a high resale value, they don't have a clear application in the building industry. What can we do to make them do something different, something better, something that satisfies problems that we've been running into, something that can make a contribution to problems in our world today? And so it begins with wood building construction, but in a very radical way. So this project has been a long time in the making. I think it's been about six years of planning. Uh, there's been a few setbacks, but we're very excited to finally have this guy. So it took us 584 days to, from the day we submitted a permit to the day we could pull the permit and start the construction. A lot of people wanted it to happen. This one is a very exciting new facility for us because it really will be the first robot that we can really test at the architecture scale and the one-to-one -one scale and to experiment with materials and new possibilities and to explore from 
all kind of uh, speculative and radical ideas, but all the way to social housing and to figure it out, new ways how we can keep contributing, to keep pushing uh, the boundaries and the possibilities of what architecture can do. The Architectural Technology Program is really about exploring automation and, and platform design impact on the practice of architecture. And the robot is like our hardware kind of component of that. So in addition to the students developing their own custom software, their own custom workflows, this robot allows us to really begin to explore the impacts of those automation platforms and design platforms at full architectural scale. It gets us even closer to sort of a one-to-one -one relationship between us sitting at a computer and us seeing something in real one-to-one -one scale coming into reality. And the ability to now start to control camera movements and control uh, sensor movements and really start to hone in these precise positions of, of these sensors. We've been having a couple of workshops to work with different materials and extruding biopolymers and uh, to be able to integrate sustainability into the technology and to try to make new stuff, innovating stuff that can like permeate in the industry in the future is exciting. What we're trying to do is take a giant killer robot, connect it to artificial intelligence, and let it start working automatically. I, I think that this facility gives our students at SIRC a great opportunity to be at the forefront of construction and, um, and platform design ideas. Technology is part of our future. And so SciArc investing in technology makes that future real for architecture students. Kind of every step of the way we've had to rethink how we're going about things. And it's been it's been really exciting. It's sort of um, really exciting just kind of figuring out what we can do now that we couldn't do before and trying to figure out how to make those things happen almost from scratch. And it's been really, really enjoyable, really, really exciting. Los Angeles is such a leader when it comes to the arts, when it comes to architecture, when it comes to our university systems and our colleges. And this is just yet another example of that excellence. And we look forward to hearing about the advancements that you do, the positive effects it's going to have not just on architecture, but some of the other bigger issues like homelessness and solving those crises. Everything here is brand new and it's amazing and it's exciting and it's innovating and that's one of the reasons uh, why I was interested in this project. I want to utilize technology to democratize good design and this is what the project or CLT is going to do.